you would think that they would have learned their lesson by now. But the irresponsible trolley company has yet another vehicle that is out of control. And this time, there are a whole bunch of animals lying on the tracks. Fortunately, there is something they can do about the situation. A dog controls the north-south switch station, meaning that he can choose which of those two directions the trolley will ultimately go. Similarly, a cat controls the west-east switch stations, again meaning that the cat can determine which of those two directions the trolley will ultimately go. Finally, the dog has one more tool at his disposal. Before the dog and cat choose which directions to send the trolley, the dog can rescue one of three dogs from the tracks. There's Spot up here, Lassie over here, and Shiloh up there. Overall, dogs just want to save dogs, and cats just want to save cats. Moreover, the dog in charge has no special affection for Spot, Lassie, or Shiloh. He is simply interested in minimizing the expected number of dogs hit by the trolley. In terms of what the cat can observe, she sees the removal of the particular dog, whether it was Spot, Lassie, or Shiloh, but she cannot observe the dog's track choice when she chooses between west and east. With that in mind, here's the puzzle. Which of the three dogs should the main dog save? Spot, Lassie, or Shiloh? Bearing in mind that the choice that the dog makes may impact which of the directions the cat ultimately chooses. And while you think about that, check out some of these cool books that I've written. I have a couple of hints for you today. First, you're going to focus on mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, which is a topic I cover in chapter one of Game Theory 101, the complete textbook. In particular, you need to focus on the indifference conditions that arise in a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Second, to solve this problem, you actually do not need to make any calculations whatsoever. That's a little strange because mixed strategy Nash equilibrium usually do require quite a bit of math. Here though, if you're clever, you can see a shortcut that means that you will not have to do any calculations whatsoever. Are you ready for the solution? If I were a betting man, I'd wager I have tricked a lot of people here. I would guess that the most commonly chosen answer is Lassie. And for good reason. If the dog goes north, Lassie is guaranteed to get hit. In contrast, for Spot to get hit, the dog must first choose north, and then the cat must choose west. There's an extra layer of complexity, so it would seem that Spot is less likely to be hit. And it's the same story for Shiloh. For Shiloh to get hit, the dog must first choose to go north, and then the cat must then choose to go east. That's one level of complication more than what it takes for Lassie to be struck. As a result, it would seem that whatever the cat's strategic response is to one of these dogs being removed, taking Lassie away is going to minimize the number of dogs that are ultimately struck. But it turns out that that's not exactly correct. This is a trick question. Regardless of which of the dogs is removed, the exact same number of dogs are expected to be struck. How could that possibly be? Well, to answer that question, it may help to aggregate the number of animals struck into a payoff matrix. The rows are the dog's choices, and the columns are the cat's choices. 
The first payoff in each box represents the number of dogs hit, and the second payoff is the number of cats hit. You'll notice that the payoffs create a classic style of guessing game. If the dog were to plan to go north, the cat would want to choose east and make sure that no cats are hit. But if the cat were going east, the dog would prefer to go south so that only six dogs are hit instead of 10. But if the dog were going south, the cat would want to go west to make sure that the cats make it all out alive. And if the cat is going west, then the dog would prefer to go north and have two dogs struck instead of six. In this sort of classic guessing game, each party needs to randomize between their two strategies. If they behave predictably, then the other side would be able to exploit them. The key principle under this sort of randomization is that any one individual's strategy is designed to make the other player indifferent between their two choices. In other words, the way the cat randomizes between west and east is designed to make it so that the dog expects an equal number of dogs hit if he goes north, as he would expect if he instead went south. But this means that we immediately know the expected number of dogs hit. If you look at the south strategy for the dog, regardless of what the cat ends up doing, six dogs are hit. As a consequence, when the cat and the dog play this game optimally, the dog is going to lose six in expectation. Now think about how removing one of those three dogs would change, or perhaps more accurately, not change, what happens here. First, suppose we took away Lassie then the payoff matrix would adjust by having one fewer dog be struck for each of those north outcomes. But this is still a guessing game, and as a consequence, the cat's optimal strategy is going to make the dog indifferent between north and south. But that means that we can immediately calculate the payoff for the dog here. In expectation, he's going to lose six. The only thing that's going to change is the frequency that the cat chooses west versus east. The dog's welfare is going to stay exactly static. It's the same story for the other two possibilities. If we put back Lassie, but remove Spot, then the payoff matrix only changes in the northwest corner. This is still a guessing game, and it's still the case that going south results in six dogs lost. As such, the only thing that's going to change is the way that the cat randomizes between west and east. The dog's welfare stays the same. In expectation, he's going to lose six. If we put back spot, but remove Shiloh, same story, just a different corner. Now the payoff for northeast improves by one, but it's still the case that this is a guessing game, and it's still the case that the dog loses six regardless of what the cat does if the dog goes south. In turn, this is only going to affect the way that the cat randomizes between west and east. It is still going to be the case that the dog's welfare is to lose six in expectation. Did you figure this one out? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.